Lorenzo Maraviglia from the province of Lucca has uh, a paper titled Invalsi meets GitHub, why not? Uh, Lorenzo, the floor is yours, okay. assuming that we managed to take it. Uh, okay, good morning. And um, um, <clears throat> to, to thank Invalsi for this great opportunity. Uh, it's really a pleasure and this is my second contribution to the to the seminar and to me this is more like uh, an experiment a sort of experiment okay uh, I will try to do something a little bit different <laughs> um, from my previous uh, uh, contributions and um, well in these days we have been discussing our attempts to uh, build knowledge uh, um, from data, and uh, which, which is becoming quite uh, an heroic endeavor uh, due to the growing difficulties in uh, obtaining data. I, I think that, in a sense, we are uh, sort of victims of uh, a war for data, which uh, is being fought in our society, in our economy, at a higher level, okay? But we, but we pay the consequences <laughs> because getting data is becoming more and more um, difficult, and this is, I think, a problem. But however, however, um, I think that um, discussing about uh, production of knowledge means uh, implicitly discussing about models of social relationships, uh, which are. Uh, social relationships between researchers and mm, and the audience, okay. And the, the audience can be um, policymakers or even simple citizens. But at this level, mm, uh, the community of researchers, as a whole, as a whole, um, interacts mm, with its audience. But it's also a matter of uh, relationships between. Uh, researchers themselves. Um, I like very much this uh, this picture with every monk sitting at, at his desk uh, doing this small piece of work. Okay, and in uh, context like this, uh, we leave our desk, we leave our work, and we uh, turn to each other and we discuss. And this is very very important, very nice, I think. And. Um, Talking about relationships, about researchers, um, there is a very nice, uh, very interesting uh, video. You can find it on YouTube. This is a conference held by Professor Richard McAldred. Okay, and it's also very entertaining. So it's, um, I advise you to, to have a look. And uh, Professor McAllis is both an um, anthropologist, um, statistician, and a software developer. Okay, a sort of amateur software developer, but, but he works uh, at the development of some uh, programs uh, for the analysis of data. Okay, and in this, um, in this video, Professor McElrith uh, wonders why uh, cooperating uh, between uh, anthropologists or between biologists is uh, so complicated. Um, because he says that we, when, when uh, we cooperate uh, as uh, researchers, we spend a lot of time of resources in uh, getting the right data, tracking the um, versions of our papers, uh, uh, um, discussing each other in a quite inefficient way, and uh, on the contrary, on the contrary, uh, when uh, he cooperates with uh, other um, software developers, uh, things are much much smoother. Okay, so um, um, in particular, he makes the, the example of this um, this software. Uh, Stan, which is um, a library written in uh, C++, uh, which is a library which allows to um, to make uh, Monte, Carlo's, uh, Monte Carlo simulations and which can be used to estimate uh, complex uh, statistical statistical models. Um, 
so um, I think that uh, the point is, uh, do we want to cooperate in an efficient way? And I think that what we have said here in these days uh, is a clear uh, demonstration that we are interested in cooperation in our work. Uh, well, I think that if we are um, interested in cooperation, we must decide if we want to be like the monks, uh, giving each other their back, or if we want to uh, effectively turn to each other and start uh, talking together. Um, if we want to uh, talk to each other in a, a more efficient way, I think that we should be less focused on the, uh, on the ends of our work and more focused on the, on the means. We, uh, I think that uh, I have the impression that we uh, talk, we don't talk enough about the means mm, of our of our research. And um, for example, uh, if, if we make a reference to um, um, software development uh, distributed projects, uh, many um, of these projects are developed in a distributed way by programmers working uh, in different parts of the world using uh, some hosting service such as uh, GitHub. Uh, GitHub is a hosting service which allows uh, people to cooperate uh, using Git. Git is a version control software and very, um, it's, a, it's a rigid but very efficient. And it's, it's part of uh, mm, the, 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 the efficient workflow which has been adopted by uh, software uh, developers. Well, in, in the last uh, few days, I made a little search on the internet, not, not a very deep search, but uh, I mm, searched for uh, projects on GitHub, which made reference to Invalsi data. And there is something, there is something, but not, not very much. It's, uh, they are uh, projects uh, developed at, uh, in university, mostly for teaching reasons and not for real research or uh, developmental research uh, uh, reason. Um, another contest is uh, the Open Science Foundation. Uh, Open Science Foundation is uh, another program hmm, uh, which, uh, which is aimed at promoting uh, uh, research uh, according to open science uh, standards. And uh, even here, there are some uh, projects which uh, uh, use Invalsi data, mm? but this is still quite uh, limited, quite, uh, quite marginal. I think it should be uh, developed. Um, um, obviously, um, it, it's not that simple. Uh, for example, GitHub uh, was born as a um, as an open platform, but it, it has been acquired by uh, Microsoft for uh, a huge amount of, uh, of money. Uh, and there's a reason for this, obviously, but it's still possible uh, to work on this platform and to cooperate, not only to develop uh, uh, programming projects, but, but also to develop research pro uh, projects. And this is, I think, um, a, a real relevant opportunities. And it would be very interesting if Invalsi or uh, some other institution would try to, to open uh, a GitHub repository in order to uh, distribute data and distribute uh, code and uh, share um, ends and projects. I, I think that that would be um, uh, a relevant opportunity. Um, I, I, I would like to, to tell you um, something about my experience. And this is a, um, a conference uh, which was uh, held at the, uh, at the fourth Invalsi conference in uh, Rome. It was a um, conference held by uh, Professor Ernesto Trevino from the Pontificia Università Cattolica de Chile. And uh, the title was Making the Most of Large Scale Assessment to Improve Opportunities. Uh, I think uh, I was there. It was very, very interesting. Uh, 
Um, and uh, okay, the, the target of this study uh, was to study the relationship between sorting of students within Chilean schools and results of students themselves. Okay, uh, by sorting, uh, uh, sorting alludes to some systematic mean aimed at separating uh, uh, best students from less good ones. So uh, the result is that we have within the same school, we have classes with uh, different uh, average uh, um, uh, skill scores, okay? Instead of classes with homogeneous, uh, which would be more um, likely if uh, sorting was not, uh, was not uh, under the way, okay? And um, um, the strategy in this study, the strategy is to identify schools where sorting uh, was taking place, uh, relied on the application of uh, a statistical test. Uh, it, was, it was the Kruskal-Wallis test. Uh, okay, Kruskal-Wallis test is a non-parametric procedure um, for testing whether two or more samples uh, come from the same population. Okay, uh, non-parametric means uh, uh, that doesn't assume uh, normality in the underlying uh, distribution. Uh, non-parametric tests are, uh, they have less power. Hmm? Uh, for example, this test is less powerful than an ANOVA test, but is a little bit more reliable in the sense that if there is no normality in the underlying distribution, this test should should give less uh, biased uh, results, okay, at the cost of uh, less power. And um, uh, it, it, it is, uh, in other words, it, uh, the crucial wall is test is the non-parametric equivalent of uh, an ANOVA test uh, to test uh, the, the difference between uh, two or more samples. Uh, obviously in this study, um, the, the groups, the samples are the classes, okay? And uh, the variable which is tested, tested is a sort of a student score uh, on an entry test, okay? Which is assumed as, as a measure of uh, um, uh, de detected ability of students uh, by, by schools and uh, um, uh, a possible signal that uh, schools use in order to sort uh, students. Uh, the, the, the problem of sorting students is very, very strong in Chile uh, because of uh, political, uh, economical, and cultural uh, reason. <clears throat> it's a country which uh, underwent uh, uh, reforms with, with a very strong uh, liberal hmm, laissez-faire um, uh, um, flavor. So this problem is uh, is considered very very uh, very worrying. It's a it's a big problem, um, and, and uh, okay, classes are the sample. If if the test uh, test is applied to each school, uh, and if the test is statistically signif significant, there is a, a possibility that the school applies some kind of sorting. This is the interpretation. This this is the approach. Uh, the approach of the of the study. Um, um well I, I have some doubts about this uh, this approach um i'm not sure uh, and, and i'm not a fan of statistical tests i think that when we focus too much on p values we may uh, miss the whole picture okay um so I, i'm not i'm not so sure about this uh, Mm, this structure. Uh, however, this is not the point. This is not the point. Um, uh, during the discussion following the presentation, I was very uh, struck by um, something that Professor, uh, I don't remember the name, well, that, that, that the, um, the professor said. He said that uh, it was the, uh, the answer to a question, okay? And the question was about the possibility to replicate this procedure in, uh, in Italy if I, uh, or something like that. And um, the, the answer uh, was, uh, in, the, in this answer, the professor said that it took us a while to estimate the test for the whole system, but uh, it, it's possible to do it. Uh, so it's possible to replicate this analysis in, in Italy. And I was struck by, um, uh, it, it took us a while. 
okay? And I tried to figure out uh, if it was possible to, um, to figure a procedure to replicate this test uh, uh, with invalid data because I had invalid data. Obviously, it's different. And, um, but um, the, the, the point is not the end. The, the point is the means. The point is the means. Uh, so I took data from the uh, 10th grade of, uh, of invalid of invalid tests. And I tried to uh, write down a procedure, some code, to replicate this analysis to apply a crucial world list test in a, every school of, of Italy, uh, using as a um, testing variable the, um, the final mark uh, in uppers, uh, in lower secondary schools, okay? The, the il voto, voto finale delle, delle medie, which, which is not the, the proper indicator, okay? But it's, it's a sort of proxy, okay? And uh, these are not ideal data, data. Um, but, but I'm, not, I'm not trying to uh, reach a substantive result. I'm interested in the procedure. And, uh, well, to, mm, it took just a few lines of code to replicate this result, uh, uh, it's just a matter of writing five lines of code. This is R code. Hmm? This is code uh, written in, in R. With these five, five lines of code, you replicate uh, this procedure. So you apply the Kruskal Wallis test uh, to each school in the population. Hmm? So uh, I applied the test at a level of Plessy because I thought that it was more reliable. Because in uh, um, upper secondary school, some schools uh, have put together uh, Lycee techni technical schools, so you, you find it together. So it's possible that different uh, uh, sorting strategies, if, if any, are applied in, um, in, in separate Plessy of the same school. So I applied this procedure at the, the, Plessy, uh, the Plessy level. And I got a result that is this one. Uh, applying this procedure and about 30% of Plessy uh, tested significant to this test. Uh, this can be interpreted like a situation where there may be um, um, a possibility of sorting of students. This is a result which is much lower than that of the uh, original study because in Chile, the result was uh, uh, between 60 and 70%, huh? almost the double, more than the double. Okay, but uh, is it uh, correct? Is it the right procedure? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, I have no idea, but uh, I think it's, it's interesting, the, the procedure, because, uh, um, well, I, I was not interested in this uh, specific uh, matter. And in a sense, uh, I realized that I was not working for myself, but potentially I was working for Professor Trevino. Uh, I could have sent this uh, code to him and maybe it, it was not useful, but maybe it could be uh, something useful for his, uh, for his research. And where, where is the problem? The problem is that I, I had to uh, try to get in touch with Professor Trevino, maybe uh, through Invalsi, convince him that I was not uh, a fool, which I'm not, or, or a stalker. Okay, and that I, I was interested in contributing to his work. Why? Because, I'm, because I, it was uh, uh, interesting and satisfying to share uh, these, uh, these tools, these instruments. So uh, uh, at, at the end, I dropped the thing. Okay, I didn't do anything. So, but I think, I thought that if, if, if we had, we are a community here in this uh, room. This is my fourth participation participation at uh, the Invalsi seminar. Um, many, many, uh, I see many <laughs> familiar faces and maybe I, I'm becoming familiar to, to other people. We are a community. Maybe we should consider the possibility of creating some, uh, some, some tools, some, uh, some means to, to share not only data, which is very important, not only results, which is important, but even, even the means. Okay, for example, the code. 
Okay, because it, I think th this is a very, um, uh, mm, very interesting and very promising uh, field. Um, uh, uh, applying the crucial Wallis tests uh, to all uh, uh, schools, uh, to all Italian schools, uh, it took about four hours of uh, machine time, four hours, which is uh, maybe a long time because I, 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 I can't write very efficient code, but um, I think uh, uh, it, it, I mean, it's not a while. <laughs> it's, it's not a while. So, so maybe it could be interesting. And uh, not only, um, uh, this is the distribution of the p-values of uh, the, the schools. Um, uh, I could apply. I could apply different statistical tests. Uh, for example, I applied an ANOVA test. Uh, applying ANOVA test, uh, which is parametric procedure, takes less than one minute. Okay, and it's easy. It's a, I just have to change the name of the test in the code that I've written. I change Kruskal Wallis with ANOVA and I get the result. And here in this plot, I uh, plotted the correlation of the results between Kruskal Wallis test and ANOVA test. There is a clear co correlation. It's um, the value of the Pearson coefficient is 0.92 which is a high correlation. Um, it's a high correlation, but if I look at, at, the, at the plot, uh, um, it's, it's not so, so high. Uh, sometimes uh, the Pearson correlation can be um, uh, ingannevole. I don't know how to say it. Huh. Misleading, uh, no, that's a word. <laughs> non mi veniva. Can be misleading, okay. And uh, this is, uh, um, uh, here I, I have plot the correlation, the bivariate, the, the bivariate correlation uh, between results of uh, um, uh, Kruskal Wallis test, ANOVA test, and Welch test, with, which is a, um, um, uh, another version of the another uh, ANOVA test. Uh, it's much more similar than the results of the ANOVA test. Uh, okay, um, uh, I'm not interested in these things. I, I don't love statistical tests, but maybe someone else is interested and um, code tools to uh, carry out these procedures in a limited time with uh, a more efficient use of resources can be an advantage. So uh, the point is that I think I, uh, I have the feeling that we are not exploiting the uh, possibilities, the opportunities uh, which are disclosed by the fact of living in a, um, um, in a knowledge uh, society. And I think that we should mm, begin to think how to um, to get uh, these opportunities, trying even to uh, devise different uh, ways of, uh, of working and uh, new patterns of possible cooperation. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, Lorenzo, the authors of the work in Chile are Ernesto Trevino and Daniel Miranda who couldn't be here due to the COVID situation, but for example, yeah. I'm happy to put you in touch with them. So you're okay, not, so you'll not, not be, sure. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um,